Halo Wars 2. That alone should get you interested if you haven't already seen the announcement teaser trailer from last year's E3 2015. But if you haven't, just know that this trailer only raises more questions than answers, just as a teaser should. But I've done my research, and I'm here today to tell you all what we know so far about Halo Wars 2. My name's Daniel 47 and be sure to stay tuned for all things Spirit of Fire and the story behind this year's Halo title. Alrighty everybody, what's up? Like I said before, my name is Daniel 47 and today we're going to be talking about the story in Halo Wars 2. Now if you haven't already seen the legendary ending for the original Halo Wars, it basically ends with you being able to hear Serena telling the captain to quote, wake up, something's happened. And I'll put it up on screen for you to hear. Captain, wake up. Something has happened. Now, you've, if you couldn't already notice, she seemed a bit worried, and as we've seen in the comic Halo Escalation, it seems to be on a collision course with this unknown planet. Plus, the biggest problem, the single flood infection form. Now, 343 has changed some of the stories that were originally in the comic books just a tad, but I don't think that they would go so far as to change these two things, especially the flood. Now, getting a bit deeper, I've also found that the Spirit of Fire was last seen in 2558, which just so happens to be the same times as the events of Halo 5 were occurring. This being said, 343 could set the story before this, but I don't believe they will because, and just hear me out, Serena was originally created in the year 2530 and considered to be a smart AI like Cortana herself. And just like Cortana goes rampant in 7 or 8 years, so would she. Now, if you couldn't already tell by those numbers, 2530 to 2558 is a lot more than 8 years. So she has got to be going absolutely ballistic right now. Now, Halo 5 spoilers ahead, so please click off if you haven't already beaten the game or anything like that. You don't like spoilers, but whatever. Alright, I think that should be enough time. But in Halo 5, Cortana asks for all AI help across the galaxy in return for basically AI immortality. This being said, now there are four enemies that the Spirit of Fire could be fighting in Halo Wars 2 if set in this time period at the same time or after Halo 5, which could be the Flood, Serena, if she goes along with Cortana's plan, the Covenant, or more specifically the Brutes, which aren't actually a part of the Covenant anymore, Forerunners, like there always are, and yeah, that's pretty much it as far as I know. Now, this was about all I could find, and there are very limited sources on what happened to the Spirit of Fire after the original Halo Wars, and it was sort of mixed up with some personal speculations too, but I did a lot of searching for all that I could find on it, so just know that I did a lot of digging before I decided to post this video for y'all. Now, anyways, that's a wrap up, and as usual, if you enjoyed, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe, as I'm sure you'll like my other Halo videos as well. But be sure to tell me what you think will happen in Halo Wars 2 as well, guys, because fan involvement is everything here on my channel. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you in the next one, and have a good day, everybody.